to another edition of Eagles on Air. I'm your host, Jalen Norwood, and Anna Christopher. Let's stand for our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here are top headlines. Let's look at our top headlines. February 12th at 2 o'clock are the Valentine's parties. February 13th, no school and parent teacher conferences. We look forward to seeing you. February 14th, no school. Enjoy your month and go Eagles. Let's check in with our in attendance chart. Because attendance matters, let's look at which classroom had the least absences and tardies. It looks like Mr. Harrison's class is the is the winner. Way to go, Mr. Harrison's class. Please come to school and be on time. And go Eagles. Let's head to the weather station to check on a on our local weather. Now in a low of 36 degrees a pattern we will see see for most the next few days a chance of rain Monday the third through Wednesday the fifth let's hope so. is a cloudy is cloudy a high of 45 a and a low of 36 de degrees a pattern we will see most the next few days a chance of rain Monday 3rd through Wednesday the 5th. Let's hope some snow. <laughs> Science is happening all around us. Let's see what is happening this week in the Mad Scientist Minute. Oxygen is a gas in the air. Plants and animals need oxygen to live. I learned that roots uh, pull in water uh, and pull water in plants. What do your animals get from their habitat? Food and water. I didn't know that solar ener solar energy came from the sun. I did not know that animals can get food from the sun. Uh, I didn't. I didn't know uh, light reflects. I didn't know that there is a thing of a source of heat, and the source of heat can make fire. That sound can bounce back. I did not know that sounds are not all the same. They are different in some ways. I did not know animals make sounds with different pitches. Hello, boys and girls. It's Miss Hughes. Guess what's coming? Book fair. 
Let me tell you some of the things that they're going to be sending us. We're going to have a new Narwhal book. There's going to be a new Pig the Pug book. Thelma the Unicorn. Bad Guys. New Fly Guy book. For those of you that like ghost stories, we're going to have two new ghost stories. Um, we're going to have um, Lauren Tarshish now has a graphic novel, I Survived the Sinking of the Titanic, but in graphic novel form. We will also have course posters and school supplies. It will be running February 6th through February 13th. Your parents can come and shop during parent te teacher conferences. Real quickly, I want to tell you um, uh, grade level AR points. So here we go. Kindergarten's on the board. Good job, kindergarten, 2.3 points. First grade, 3,070. Ooh, first grade. Second grade, 1,646 AR points. Third grade, 1,029.6. Fourth grade has almost doubled their AR points since the last time I videoed, and they are at 1,098.3. Fifth grade, 827. And sixth grade, first grade's getting away from you. 2,303. Great job, guys. Let's check in with our middle school headline. And in the Suds class, we were given, um, we were doing time, uh, illustrated timeline, and me and John were given the proclamation of 1763. What it was, Britain's large North American Empire tried to make relationships with the Native Americans and trade settlement and land purchases. The proclamation stated that the Americans not sell or buy west land of the Appalachian Mountains. This made colonists mad because they already had land in the area. When the proclamation of 1763 ended, it led to the Revolutionary War because colonists wanted their land back from the British. Okay, we drew a mountain because this was where the proclamation line was. And then John drew the stop sign. So, and it says, stop this madness. This is Olivia. Our event was the Declaration of Independence. The United States Declaration of Independence is an important document in history of the United States of America. It was ratified on July 4th, 1776. It says that the Americans were no longer under British rules. The Patriots were excited and determined that they were going to be free for the first time in a long time. I don't think so. The Loyalists slash British were shocked and surprised, furious, and the Loyalists were very angry because they wanted to keep the Americans. During this time, many American people were angry at Great Britain. Many Americans did not like paying taxes to the Great Britain. This is John Hancock. This is the Declaration of Independence. And this is just something. <laughs> I got an issue and it's the Tea Act. Hey, I'm gonna tell you something about the Tea Party, which is caused obviously by the Tea Act, which is the coolest act ever. And um, so the Tea Act was, so the Tea Party was caught. The, the colonists were very mad about the Tea Act because they were keeping tea hidden from the New York City. Oh yeah, Boston. <laughs> okay. Um, and then the colonists just got so mad they took 342 ships of chest of tea no, for some reason, and then um, they threw it right over off the uh, ship right into the Boston Harbor, which they called the Tea Party. This was caused by the Tea uh, Act and made. May 10th, 1773. Um, I'd like to say something. The tea, the tea that, was dumped, that was thrown into the water equaled over a million dollars in American dollars now. Now to the readers all readers to find out about the latest reading trend. Did you know there are hundreds of book series? Are you ready to get excited about reading and looking at different book series? Do you have a favorite? Let's see. Let's try one more time. This is a new poem. Let's go. I'm a smoke that can never seem invisible. I am as black as night. Mm -hmm. I burn that atmosphere as I roast in the ground. I am the smoke. I don't want to do anything, but I'm making a new pop. I feel a bad time. The fire made me go. Fire. I am the smoke making everything seem invisible. Right. Can you do it a little bit louder? I am the smoke making everything seem invisible. I'm scared. The fire is happening. 
Okay, be ready because we want it to be a continuous flow. We might have to switch. Science is happening all around us. Let's see what is happening this week in the Mad Scientist Minute. Now to 60 seconds in the life of a CMS student. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Eagles on Air. And always remember, Go Eagles! You saw